24-0. and 0. That is the number of consecutive preseason games the Baltimore Ravens have won in a row. They haven't lost a preseason game since 2015. And no matter how you try to slice it, that is insane in a good way. And it does show that the Ravens, they do care about the preseason because you don't just win 24 games in a row on accident. Nah, that, that just doesn't happen. Uh, but shout out to them. Shout out to John Harbaugh. They haven't lost since 2015. Now, if they just treat the regular season and then the playoffs like the preseason, we'll be in some really good shape. But team, keep it clean. What's going on? St. Graven here with another video. And we back. We officially back. Like, there were a lot of different indicators that let us know that the NFL season was here. But for me, for us personally, streaming, streaming, that, that's what really marked the NFL season being back for us. And we had a good time. So shout out to everybody that came through on the live stream. Now, uh, we're going to recap this preseason game. But normally, you know, we would talk about some stats and some different numbers and whatnot. But no, nah, not for the preseason. We're going to just chill. But some people who weren't chill, some standout players, in my opinion, in this game. Um, we'll start off with the quarterback, Tyler Huntley. Tyler Huntley, it was a lot of comments and stuff about Tyler Huntley going on in the chat. Some good, some bad. Uh, when people watching Josh Johnson, uh, but Tyler Huntley came out there and he gave the offense a spark that it needed. And again, we know it's preseason, we get it, but still, he gave the, the Ravens offense a spark. He came out there and the way that he commanded and controlled the offense, he, he really took control over. He was showing Todd Monk, like, hey, Monkin, I got it, watch this. But he came through in a major way, drove the offense right down the field, threw that touchdown to, was it Devin DuVernay? I think it was Devin DuVernay. Um, or was it Tylen Wallace? Man, now I forget which one, because I know both of them caught touchdowns. But either way, he came in. No, 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 no. It was Tylen Wallace because... Devin DuVernay and Zay Flowers, they play with Josh Johnson. And I know my guy Zach, he said on Twitter, he said, it's criminal how the Ravens let Zay Flowers play with Josh Johnson instead of Tyler Huntley. But anyway, anyway, we'll talk about that later. But Tyler Huntley, he came through and he looked good. He looked decisive. He just, he just looked, um, like my guy Nitra put it the best way, he looked very composed. And he did. And again, we know it's preseason, but... You got to start somewhere, and that's where he started. So that was nice. Another standout player for me was Keaton Mitchell. Uh, I had heard so much stuff about Keaton Mitchell uh, this entire offseason from so many different Ravens fans telling me, hey, there's no way that he don't make the team. Hey, they need to make a spot for him. Hey, this boy is nice, I'm telling you. So many people told me, but yesterday, well, tonight, but when you're seeing this, it'll have been yesterday, I got to see for myself. And I loved it. Like, from his first kick return, he looked good. He looked smooth back then. I said, oh, okay now. I know Devin DuVernay's our return, man. But I would love if Keaton Mitchell put some pressure on him. But the return man wasn't the only position that Keaton Mitchell was putting pressure on. Because when you saw him at running back, and while the numbers don't indicate it, but if you watch the game and you see that there was that big run at it that got called back, unfortunately. But, hey, we saw it. The coaches saw it. Everybody saw it. So it happened. It didn't count, but it happened. So they got a taste of what he could do. So that was beautiful to see. Keaton Mitchell, somebody who just explosive. The speed is there. The agility is there. The playmaking, it seemed like it's there. So I would, I would love to see him get a shot. Somebody else who looked good in a short amount of time that he was on the field, Zay Flowers. Zay Flowers is somebody who we've been hearing nothing but great stuff about. And then when we watched him last night, it just made you fall in love even more. And it made you that much more excited to see what Zay Flowers is going to bring to this Baltimore Ravens offense. They had him in motion in the backfield. They, they, they pitched it to him. He didn't get much yards, but Zay Flowers' impact, it went well beyond uh, the yardage that he got uh, because he was drawing penalties. He was giving those cornerbacks fits. Zay Flowers, he, he drew the, uh, the defensive holding penalty, and he drew an illegal hands to the face penalty. And he was showing like, hey, he, he going to be a problem, man. <laughs> I can't wait. He going to be a problem, man. So shout out to Zay Flowers. Um, somebody else, number 82. I believe they said his name is Sean Ryan. He had himself a game as well. 
Uh, he was catching pretty much everything thrown his way. My favorite catch from him came along the sideline because uh, I want to say it was Tyler Huntley. Well, maybe it was Anthony Brown. I forgot who the quarterback was at the time, but quarterback threw it to him. The defender just missed it. You know how the defender jump up, try to tip the ball? He just missed it. Uh, and then Sean Ryan, while he was catching it, he had a defender all over him. And the defender was close to the ball too, but the, the amount of concentration it took to make that catch it was a lot, and he did it. But he kept making catch after catch after catch after catch after first down after first down after play after play after play. And 82 was doing his thing. Now, he obviously, he is a long shot to make the roster. I, I get that. I'm sure he gets that too. Because it's, it's just so much that's in front of him. But tonight was a great start for him. It was a great start for him. Um, and then on defense, Malik Harrison. He started off really hot. And Malik Harrison usually been doing this in the preseason. He, he started off really hot. He doesn't really get too much opportunity in the regular season because obviously they got their linebackers. But uh, preseason, he's been doing his thing. Um, number 95. Oh, I, I forget his name right now. My apologies. But he looked good as well. He was on defense. Uh, he was on special teams too doing his thing. Um, Dale Worley. Dale Worley it started off a little bit rocky for him, but he bounced back in a big way. And now apparently he's saying he's a full-time safety now. We ain't even hear that from John Harbaugh. We heard that straight from Dale Worley. He said, I'm a full-time safety now. He said, if I need to do some corner, I'll do it. But I'm a safety now. All right, well, okay, cool, cool. The more the merrier. Ravens, like, they really loading up at safety. Uh, cornerback, <laughs> we'll see what, what happens there. But anyway, and then there were some guys that – um. Maybe didn't have the best games. Uh, Josh Johnson, I uh, think, I mean, it wasn't the worst, obviously, but uh, it just, for a lot of it, there was just a lack. And again, it's preseason, so yeah, they ain't giving their all, all but. Uh, but really, Anthony Brown, too. With Anthony Brown, um, especially the pick six, just really couldn't get it going. Uh, but then he did make some nice bounce back plays. So both quarterbacks were a little bit off. They did have they did have some nice plays. It wasn't all bad for sure. Um, so he did a lot of making up for it. Um, who else sort of had a day? oh Brandon Stevens? Brandon Stevens for him, it was pretty rocky like throughout. He had a, a really rough game, um, and he was out there a lot. Like Brandon Stevens, is somebody who the Ravens really like. Uh, and they had him out there a whole lot. We saw that 21 pretty much all night. Um, so maybe they just trying to get an extra look at him. I, I don't know. Now, um, something that confused me, which I didn't understand. Uh, Gus Edwards. JK is sitting out right now. Um, you have Melvin Gordon. You have Justice Hill. Justice Hill look good, too, by the way. Uh, Melvin Gordon looks solid. He looks solid. Um, then you have Keith Mitchell as well. Then you have number 36. I think uh, Wright. You have him too. But they were playing Gus Edwards. And they played him like, I think, maybe like three or four drives. And I was wondering, like, wh wh why? Why are we playing Gus? I, I just didn't get it or agree with it. Um, I, I didn't think they should have played him, but they did. And, I, hey, I, it is what it is. Um, I just thought I didn't think that was the best move for them to do. Uh, but... Just like I'm glad with Gus Edwards, uh, they Ravens pretty much got off scot free when it came to injuries. I know they said Tyler Huntley might have had a little hamstring injury, but none crazy, none serious. Uh, and then there was somebody else who had a super small injury too. I forgot who it was, but both injuries were extremely minor. So that's a great thing uh, because obviously in the preseason you want to see these guys play, you want to see what these guys got, but uh, you want to get through the games without suffering any injuries at all, uh, but definitely not any major injuries. So that was good to see. Um, but, yeah, the Ravens, uh, they, they extended the streak. Um, it, it's, it's very important to keep in mind that this is a preseason game, so not to get too high and not to get too low on any particular thing, any particular player, any particular scheme. Or, I mean, they're not even really schemes, but – not to get too high or low on anything because this is just an extended practice. This is just an extensive practice too. Um, this there's no like serious game planning involved, any of that. There's no, they're just 
they're, they're playing like a uh, They're just going through the game and whatnot Going through some different things Getting the kinks out and whatnot And that's part of preseason That's what it is um, Somebody else who While well, they're on my mind right now And I don't want to forget Somebody else who looked good I mean, but it's the norm with him It's Justin Tucker We talked about it during the stream How after 11, 12 years of watching somebody uh, Even if they're a really good player You would think like, okay this is normal for them, but I still get amazed at what Justin Tucker does on a weekly basis. I still get amazed at it. And just, I mean, he hit that 60-yard field goal uh, effortlessly. Just knocked it right through. Started doing a little dance while not celebrating. And he's just amazing, man. He's amazing, and he is he's the best. So uh, there's no denying that, like, really from anybody. Justin Tucker is the best kicker uh, that's out there doing it. Um, so shout out to him um, Devin DuVernay uh, On a touchdown catch that he had was really nice uh, And Devin DuVernay is somebody that I just And we talked about this earlier That I had not been hearing anything about When it came to him I hadn't been hearing anything about him in camp at all And I was just wondering like what's the situation with Devin DuVernay But I guess he's one of them people that have practice uh, I ain't worried about no practice When it's time to take the test When it's time to play the game I, I, I'll show up then And he did he did. He scored his touchdown, and he was done for the night. So I said, oh, good good for Devin DuVernay. Um, but, yeah, this, this, this was a preseason. This was a really fun preseason game for me. Uh, I loved it. Uh, I had a lot of fun in the stream. had a lot of fun watching it with y'all. Uh, we had a really, really good time, man. Um, somebody who I feel like is in danger, uh, especially more than ever now, uh, is James Prochet. Uh, I, and I know, like, last year I didn't think he was going to make the team, but he made it. This year it's like oof Like especially after that fumble Because before, before he even fumbled the ball um, He had two passes go his way Both of them were broken up And, and when we know James Prochet He's known for making Excuse me making contested catches But the defenders were draped all over him um, And both passes his way were both incomplete uh, So it's like oh that could have been rough already as is But then when he did the punt return And he fumbled It was like oof That Oh, so, I just, so many people just feel like that's that's the beginning of the end uh, for James Prochet with the Ravens. But again, we'll see, we'll see, uh, because him, Tylen Wallace, who ended up replacing James Prochet at punt return after that, him, Tylen Wallace, uh, possibly Shamar Bridges. I know he's a long shot too, though. Uh, it's a lot of guys fighting for like that last the six wide receiver spot. Because, you know, we got the five guys in front of them who are Locks, OBJ, Bateman, Devin DuVernay, Zay Flowers, Rashad Bateman. Those guys are essentially Locks. But that six wide receiver spot is up for grabs right now. So we'll see exactly what happens uh, and how it goes down. Now, despite this being a preseason game, Mike McDonald was like, look, I'm blitzing. I'm blitzing. And he was getting some good pressure. He was bringing in from corners, bringing in from safety since we got a million of them, bringing in from linebackers and whatnot. He was getting some good pressure, so he, he called a good game. Um, but there were, again, it's preseason, so don't want to get too high or too low on anybody. Uh, but this was a rough game, in my opinion, for the secondary. Number 85 from the Eagles, um, he he was having a game, and he was catching everything on everybody. Uh, another rough game for the Ravens came from number 33. I don't remember his name off the top of my head. Um, but, yeah, the secondary is just – there was a lot of struggle in the secondary uh, throughout the night. Uh, but most important thing happened, they got the win. So, team, keep it clean. I love you all. We got so much to talk about this week and so much to go over this week. I appreciate you all so much. Y'all, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on so you do not miss not a single thing because I don't want you missing out. I hate when you all miss out, man. But I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you all for staying tuned. And we out.